Where I am in time and space, we are nearing the end of summer. The autumn equinox is a few days away and fall is when things start really picking up on my website and my YouTube channel. People start looking up recipes that they can prepare for the holidays. And I was doing some research in my La Russe Gastronomique Culinary Encyclopedia and I came across a recipe that caught my attention. Gratin Dauphinois. And it caught my attention because I remembered the name. Julia Child did the recipe in a very old black and white episode of her French Chef series. And I even have it on DVD, so I looked it up. The, the episode is called The Potato Show. It's a very simple dish. Gratin means browned on top. It's basically sliced potatoes in an egg and cream mixture in a low kind of shallow baking dish covered with a little bit of Gruyere cheese. You bake it in the oven till it's tender and browned on top. It'll go well with the Christmas roasts or a Thanksgiving roast, your Thanksgiving turkey, your Christmas ham. I would do this with lamb. I would serve it even with rabbit. It's a rather simple dish. It's not a main course. It's definitely a side dish, but it's easy to make. It looks elegant. I think it's perfect. So let's do gratin Dauphinois. First, I want to explain the potatoes that I'm using. These are Klondike gold dust potatoes. And from doing some research, I learned that the, the name is a proprietary name for a potato that's similar to Yukon Golds. I haven't used these before, but I want to experiment with them for a couple of reasons. One is they're a firm potato, which I want with a mild, delicate flavor. And the skin supposedly is so thin that as long as they're well washed, and these are, you can use them unpeeled. I have done potato dishes with russet potatoes, which are the common ones I see in all the store, and those work equally well, I think. As I said, I haven't used these before, but that's my experiment today. As far as how much, I have here roughly between two and a quarter to two and a half pounds, roughly a kilogram. I think I'm going to use all of these because I'm trying to gauge by the size of my baking dish. I'm going to use my oval baking dish. This amount of potatoes should be enough to pretty much fill this dish two-thirds to three-quarters full. If you have a really sharp knife and good knife skills, you can slice the potatoes with a knife. You want them to be really thin because I really get to use my electric rotary slicer in videos. That's what I'm going to use today. I'll get uniform thin slices and this will make quick work of these potatoes. So let me adjust my blade there and let's start. Okay. I have a piece of parchment paper here on the side that I'm using to catch my potatoes. There are my thin slices and then I have a bowl of cold water in the sink that I'm going to transfer these two to do, keep them from turning brown. I have here one and a half cups, which is about 350 milliliters of heavy cream that I'm putting into a small saucepan, medium sized saucepan, I guess that would be. I'm going to heat this on the stove. I don't have to bring it up to boiling, but I don't want it cold like this is because this is fresh from the refrigerator. If I poured cold cream in my baking dish. It would slow the cooking time down. So I'm just going to heat this up until it's pretty warm, hot, nearing boiling, but it doesn't have to be brought to a boil. Into a medium bowl here. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of milk and then I'm going to break a couple of large eggs in there. And then I'm going to add to that a good pinch of salt, maybe not quite a teaspoon. I'm going to grind some black pepper in there. Not a lot. And then this is my one addition to this recipe. I'm going to grate some fresh nutmeg in there. I think it'll add a nice flavor, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm 
Okay. Then I'm going to mix that with a whisk. While I'm waiting for my milk to warm up, I'm going to butter my baking dish well. Generously. That's good enough. I've drained my potatoes here. And I'm going to start layering them in this dish. The ones that curl the most, I'm going to put those in the bottom. And I'm going to try to find flatter ones to go on top. Okay, and then to do the top, I'm going to try to go kind of fancy here and just layer around in a pattern like so. Okay, my potatoes are ready. Do I have a nice round piece? I'm going to put a round piece in the middle like that. And I used most of my potatoes. I have a small amount there left. Again, it depends upon how big your dishes, how much room you've got. I can squeeze one more in there and actually put another one in here. Am I getting obsessive compulsive about this? Yes. Put this aside. Returning now to my egg mixture. I have a couple of cloves of garlic here that I'm going to add. This is something that Julia Child added to her gratin dauphinois. And I liked the idea. Good. And then here is my warmed milk. Not hot. It won't cook those eggs, I hope. And then, returning back to this, that's my little pad that I use so that I don't hear too much knocking. I'm going to pour this over my potatoes. Like so. Okay. Now, to finish up, what I have here is one ounce. 28 grams of Gruyere cheese that I've shredded and I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. And if you hear that noise, that is a plane going overhead. I live near the airport. As I like to say, this really is a trailer park, folks. This is not a fancy house out in the Hamptons. Okay, a little messy, but it'll do. And then finally, I've got some butter here. And I'm going to put about four tablespoons of butter by just putting little dabs of butter on top. I'm kind of distributing that around the top. And then for a little more color on top, I'm just going to grate some black pepper a little bit. Maybe you can barely see that. I just think it'll give me a little more contrast on top. Now, I have in the meantime been heating my oven up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 220 degrees Celsius, with a rack in the upper third of the oven. Because I want to bake this in the top of the oven, toward the top, so it'll get browning and if necessary I can heat up the broiler to finish the browning. I'm looking for a golden top and I want the internal temperature. I'm going to check it with a digital thermometer. I want the internal temperature to be between 185 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 85 to 93 degrees Celsius and that's going to take about an hour. So there it is right out of the oven. Hot and bubbly. I want to check the internal temperature. This was in the oven for right about one hour. 
192, 193 degrees. That is perfect. Now I'm going to let this set for a good 10, 15 minutes. The internal temperature will continue to rise a little bit because there's heat in that dish. There's heat on the outside. That'll all continue to migrate inward. This will probably get up to close to 200 degrees in the next 10 to 15 minutes. But this is done and this is beautiful. This has had time now to rest for 20 minutes. Still warm, but the dish isn't so hot that I can't handle the handles there. I'm going to put some on a plate for myself. Beautifully creamy inside. It actually makes, because of the eggs, it makes like a custard inside. All right, I got to see what that tastes like. I am in high expectation of this because this looks so good. All right. Let's get a bit of my potato with some of the cheese on top. Wow. Wow. That is so good. The potatoes are really tender. Mmm, that is wonderful. I can just get a hint of the nutmeg in there. Ooh, it's a little bit late for lunch, but that's all right. I'm going to go enjoy my gratin dauphinois for a late lunch. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit my website, mobilehomegourmet.com and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.